Welcome to the SCP Foundation. I am 05-4, and congratulations on your promotion to O5 Council Member. So, today, we are going to be briefing you on SCP-006. And by we, I mean me. And by SCP-006, I mean the Fountain of Youth. Yes, the Fountain of Youth. Okay, so under direct orders of the Founder, access is limited to those with Overseer Clearance. You wouldn't even be able to access this video without that clearance. So let's go ahead and jump into it here. Overseer clearance granted. Item number SCP-006. Object class safe. Special containment procedures. Whereas the nature of SCP-006 does not warrant any extensive containment, a certain level of secrecy is necessary regarding the object's existence and properties for obvious reasons. The following procedures are required not for personal safety, but to deny or hide knowledge of SCP-006's effects from the personnel who interact with it. 1. All personnel interacting with SCP-006 in any physical way are required to wear modified Class 6 BNC suits. Before personnel are allowed to perform procedures, they must be briefed with material SCP-006-B, or SCP-006-C. SCP-006-A briefing is the correct one and is restricted to only those with 05 clearance, which is you and I, and you will be receiving a packet by the end of the day with the SCP-006-A briefing. To ensure personnel are wearing suits properly, they are to be submerged into a pool of water, not SCP-006. <laughs> Any air bubbles spotted signify a leak in the suit. 2. Procedures with SCP-006 are to be carried out under extreme surveillance. In case of contact with SCP-006, the commander in charge will announce Procedure 006-XI-12, which the personnel have been briefed to believe mean high toxicity is present and they must evacuate. 3. Any procedure in which liquid is acquired from SCP-006 must be approved by three 05-level personnel. The liquid is to be transferred in a quad-sealant container and under armed guard. 4. If at any time personnel come into contact with SCP-006 or liquid from SCP-006, they are to be confined and terminated after sufficient studies are done. Due to the nature of SCP-006, the most effective termination method is incineration. For a full report, see file SCP-006-TER05, which is included in the packet I mentioned. Description. SCP-006 is a very small spring located 60 kilometers west of Astrakhan. Foundation Command was aware of its existence since the 19th century, but were unable to secure it until 1991 due to political reasons. On the spot of the spring, a chemical factory has been constructed as a disguise, with the majority of laborers under Foundation and or Russian control. The liquid emitted from the spring has been chemically identified as simple mineral water in 1902, but has the unusual property of health. Ingesting the liquid produces the following properties in human beings. The ability to regenerate DNA, damaged by sufficient duplication, heightened excitement of cellular duplication, vastly improved abilities in the repair of damaged tissue, and a frightening increase in the effectiveness of the human immune system. Upon testing the liquid on animal subjects, hostile bacteria and viral agents were destroyed immediately. Many reptiles and birds were unaffected, while higher primates experienced the same benefits as humans. Alright, and that ends the video briefing on SCP-006. Congratulations on your promotion. Remember, we secure, contain, and protect. We die in the dark so that they can live in the light. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Uh, subscribe and ring the bell if you'd like to see more. If you didn't enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a comment as to why. Uh, please try to keep your comments uh, constructive if you can. And well, thank you so much. Have a good rest of your whatever.